What's the stupidest movie you've ever seen? High Rise. The worst film I've ever paid to see. None of it makes any sense. I don't know if it was just a bad adaptation of the book, but every scene in that film had at least one why? Moment in it. That's not to mention the bad scripting, the bad pacing, the terrible acting, the lingering shots of mid-CGI, the awful camera work and the questionable casting. So many questions left unanswered. I watched half a dozen people walk out of the cinema. I only watched to the end to see what happened and even that wasn't that worth it. Jimkata is a martial arts action film released in 1985. The movie follows the story of an Olympic gymnast, played by Kurt Thomas, who is recruited by a U.S. intelligence agency to participate in a deadly competition known as the game in the fictional country of Parmistan. The protagonist employs his gymnastics skills to navigate through a treacherous town filled with obstacles and adversaries. Jimkata is known for its unique blend of gymnastics and martial arts. Freddy Got Fingered was mine and my brother's favorite movie growing up it was just so so stupid it was funny to us. It wasn't until many years later I found myself researching the worst movies ever on Wikipedia to see it mentioned I couldn't believe it. At this point it was a good decade since I last watched it and good god it was a hard watch, although we still quote it to this day god that really is a stupid fucking movie. Still love Tom though. The forgotten some lady lost her son and everybody tells her she had no son and there's no evidence the child ever existed. The trailer made me think the movie would be good. It's not. In the end everything was done by the millions or whatever. The bad guys are abducted and the good ones are with their children. Currently Napoleon but 80 of films are. Just make a list of good films just competent with arresting dialogue, believable characters with depth and ambiguity, and competent plot lines. All I ask? Quick example No Country for Old Men. It's not possible to watch crap by comparison really. I really try with some films, but often it's 10 minutes, then the first shoddy cliches appear. Switch off. Cosmic Sins, one of the last movies starring Bruce Willis. It was so dumb not even funny dumb but just dumb, completely nonsensical and awfully made with terrible visuals and dialogues that were mostly gibberish with the word quantum thrown in at every turn to try to look cool. I still have no idea why I watched it until the end. Tiptoes. Starring Gary Oldman pretending to be a little person by lumbering about on his knees while Peter Dinklage is right there, who is doing a ridiculous French accent. What more is there to say? As a little person myself, it was, an experience. Every time someone describes Gary Oldman as a chameleon actor this pops into my head. I have no idea what it's called, but it was some kind of serial killer movie where the killer followed people in a brown car with filthy windows, and at the end it drove off a cliff, only to magically reappear and then drive off of another cliff into a big open shipping container labeled explosives and then the inevitable happened. Aragon. Was so fucking bored during that film. I stayed through the whole film. It was Christmas Day in my first year living alone in Phoenix, Arizona after moving from New York earlier that year. No other plans, no friends or family to be with that day. So I stayed. And I was glad when it ended. Epic movie and theater. It was boringly stupid and I was 15 when I saw it. The other is Pocket Ninja. Saw it at home, it lasts 1 hour and 15 minutes, but it feels it takes forever, while at the end the twist is nonsensical. So actually... I do not know what the story is fully about. P. I've watched a lot of bad movies but Otto or the Fighting Eagle or Sharks of the Corn is the worst. I don't which one, but one of them. Edit you know what, I do know. It's Sharks of the Corn. I'd rather watch Otto again and I fucking hated that movie so that answers that I guess. I usually love watching B-horror movies on Netflix especially while intoxicated but over the weekend my husband and I watched Mega Shark vs Mecha Shark and it was too awful to be enjoyed. It was mildly amusing making fun of it, but not amusing enough. I think the fifth Transformers movie really sold it to me as the worst film of all time. I watched it on a plane for starters which obviously meant I couldn't see it so well, but I just didn't follow a single thing at all. The story was awfully confusing. Envy. It was a comedy starring Ben Stiller, Jack Black and Christopher Walken all three I leavened about a guy who invents a spray that makes dog shit disappear. Saw it in theaters and was one of only two movies I thought about walking out of. The Dark Tower While I've seen dumber movies, none so remarkably fails to deliver on source material and cast. The Dark Tower was like being stranded on a desert island with a great pile of canned goods but nobody packed an opener. I once watched a movie about a detective with amnesia trying to solve a case, only to realize he was the culprit all along. It was so dumb, I forgot its name. 
and pretty much everything else about it. Remember me? I watched this movie in 2020 but its ending wasn't understood? I still have questions why I did that? Hi I. After I watched it, I thought that I wasted my time on a ridiculous end. Holmes Watson 2018. I consider myself a easy audience. During the whole projection I did not laugh even once, so did the whole cinema by the way. I don't know what happened here. Joker. False advertising. I thought I was going to see a Joker movie and ended up watching a half-assed character drama that looked like somebody the king of comedy but without the charm. The Velocity Pastor a priest starts turning into a Velociraptor and there's ninjas and prostitutes because of course there are. Dumbest thing I've ever seen and I loved every minute. Black Adam, The Flash and also Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania but if I had to decide on one from the three I listed I'd get a toss-up between Black Adam and Ant-Man 3 honestly. The Lords of Salem. The worst horror movie I've ever seen that wasn't that intentionally made badly and also the start of Rob Zombie's directorial decline. Just a terrible movie. Dear Evan Hansen. I'm sure it works better on the stage than it does on the big screen, but there were moments in that film that left me flabbergasted, to say the least. 30 days of night in Alaska there's a night of 30 days during the winter. So vampires have one whole month to run free. The only movie that made me leave the theater. Meet the Spartans, that shitty parody of 300. I watched it with my dad, and when it was over, he took the DVD out of the player, snapped it in half, and threw it away. Anaconda. Specifically, the internal Anaconda cam shot when John Voight's character is being eaten alive. NSFW Link. So the guy keeps running throughout the movie and he somehow miraculously saves the day in the end every time even though the movies are called Mission Impossible. I've got a movie on VHS called Millennium from the 80s sitting in front of me. That one was pretty shitty. I couldn't even finish it and I love cheesy sci-fi. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Pure white man fantasy bullshit. No way a MMA martial artist and inventor like Bruce Lee gets beaten by an average stuntman. 2012 only movie I ever walked out on. The world is crumbling except for wherever the main star has to go only his path is magical not falling away. This horror movie called Feast. I remember it being silly and weird and for some reason Matt Damon and Ben Affleck had something to do with it. Star Trek Into Darkness. I'm a massive track fan and that's the only time I've been compelled to leave the theater when watching any movie. Son of the Mask. I saw it in theaters with my family, after we saw it, we ended up regretting it. It was one of the worst movies I saw. Dragon Ball Evolution Holy Hell was it bad Aragon is a close second. Had some good casting but the effects in the script was terrible. Oppenheimer. Such a terrible movie that didn't need to exist. So many folks calling it a masterpiece has lost my faith in humanity. The Steven Seagal movie when he fits a guy while sitting in an office chair. As a matter of fact. Anything after his first movie. The Avengers. But not the one you're thinking of. Try watching the 1998 Avengers movie. On second thought. Don't. Thanks Killing 3. The first was fun to watch. They literally didn't make a Thanks Killing 2. 3 was another level of bad. Judy Moody and the Not So Bummer Summer It was boring as fuck and was more cringy than a dad at a Saturday night party. Recently. Something called Yesterday Imagine a World Without the Beatles Music and a Plot Hole Bigger Than the Sun. London Has Fallen Captain America. Predictable shite. I don't think the studios were even trying with these two. Artemis Fowl. The movie sucked and the plot was completely unfaithful to the books. Also why is he surfing? Rubber. Serious WTF all the way through. Another similar movie involved a sofa in the same sort of way. The Last Jedi. The scene where Princess Leia survives a vacuum of space was where I switched it off. My dinner with Andre, although it was decades ago. Pretentious bullshit, but some people loved it. Envy. Some great comedy talent making an excruciatingly unfunny movie that is literally dog shit. People seem to be confusing stupid with bad. Yes, they often go together, but not always. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, absolute dog shit. And the Rey movie is doomed to flop. Sharknado. Saw it for the first time on Nye. Goddamn it gives new meaning to the word dumb. Sky sharks. Zombie Nazis flying on sharks and killing people was stupid but also hilarious. Skin Amy Rancor however you spell it. I was angry I wasted my time on that piece of shit. Mazes and Monsters. Early 80s anti-DD made for TV propaganda film starring Tom Hanks. Tiptoes with Gary Oldman, Kate Beckinsale and Matthew McConaughey. Wow it's terrible. Monster Trucks. 
I had the unfortunate experience of actually working on that turd. The water boy staring at him fact anything staring at him Sandler. Moonflow without a doubt was just fucking stupid and not in an entertaining way. I will never get my two hours back from watching the killing of a sacred deer. Monty Python in the Holy Grail. And it's at its best when it's stupidest. Battlefield Earth. I'm not sure how it even got a 3 on Rotten Tomatoes. Only two movies I've ever walked out on are Maestro and Spice World. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. So bad it took me days just to finish it. Team America World Police it was so bad that it ended up being good. A Quiet Place. There were so many plot holes that I just couldn't finish it. Just saw Aquaman 2 last night with my wife and kids. It was horrible. Boxing Helena. Boxing Helena. Idiot crazy so stupid but still very funny and worthwhile seeing. Font Forest Sick. You have to really try to make something so pitiful. Freddy Got Fingered. By far the dumbest movie I've ever seen. Monosa Hands of Fate. It's just so. I can't even describe. Dude, where's my car? I love it, but it is really stupid. Lethal Dose. It's a roller coaster of WTF and bad acting. Zack and Mary make a porno. Horribly awful and unfunny. Anything by Hallmark. No one has hair that glossy.